Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you guys how you can configure MSI Afterburner to see benchmarkings such as FPS and ping and CPU usage etc. And I will also show you guys how you can set the shortcut keys to quickly enable and disable this from inside the game. First you need to enable what kind of benchmarkings you need. Uh, for example, I want to see the frame rate and the CPU usage and RAM usage and you need to enable such things first. That's the important part because as a default, some of the functions may not be enabled. So you need to enable that first and then you need to press and hold the control key and then select all the graphs that you want to see on your screen. When you directly click the graph, it will just select only one. But when you press and hold the control key and then select all the graphs, you can select multiple graphs at the same time. Once we selected all the graphs that we need, we need to check the show in on screen display. By doing that, all the graphs will be shown in our screen. After applying these settings, sometimes it may ask us to restart our computer. And I will restart this later because I also need to configure another thing first. So let me show you all the configurations. On screen display and this is for the shortcut key. You need to assign three shortcut keys for all these things. The first one is for toggle on screen display and I am assigning it like this. By pressing these shortcut keys you can turn off and turn on the benchmarkings in real time when you are inside the game. After changing all the configurations, just apply the settings and restart your PC. I just restarted my PC and it's time for us to check the results. I think I am able to check a lot of things right now, such as GPU temperature and memory and CPU usage and CPU temperature and RAM usage and also the FPS. But the thing is, we can actually add more of them. It's actually the same stuff that we used before. You just need to go to the MSI Afterburner properties and then you need to go to the monitoring and then you just need to select what other graph that you want to show here and then you just need to enable the show on screen display. But luckily for us, we don't actually need to restart our PC this time. The changes will be applied directly so you can see that in real time. Right now I'm just adding additional graphs to the list. You can just choose according to your need. It also has a third party plugin features which will show you guys the hard disk usage and server latency, even power voltages. But these plugins will use third party services. That's why they are actually giving it as an option that if you are interested to add, you just manually need to add them. But those things are a little bit advanced. But if you really want to do that, you just need to click that button and then add more of them. It's where we can add a server latency. You just need to enter your server URL right here. It could be your website or even a game server. You just needed to enter its URL here and click OK. And it will show you guys the server ping in real time. I have given the download link for the MSI Afterburner in the description below. You guys can download it from there. And I hope this helps you guys. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And bye. Peace. Chicken peace.